Hey everybody, Steve Sheets here with Ghost Ranch Communications doing a super quick tutorial today about how to uh, add some custom formatting to the numbers in your numbered lists in PowerPoint. You can make them bold, you can even change the font in addition to of course changing the color. Um, it's not straightforward, there's not like a, a clear way to do it in menus or anything, it's a little bit more of a hack, so stick around and I'll show you two different ways to do it. They're both super easy. So first super easy way, what we're gonna wanna do is just come up here to the first item. I'm going to hit space. I'm gonna highlight that space. And if I hit bold, you can see the number becomes bold. I can even change the font. And the number is gonna follow the styling of whatever that first character, in this case, it's a, I just hit space, it's a space. Um, the number is gonna follow the styling of that first character. I can copy it and I can paste that in at each level of the list. And of course, this is moving my content over a little bit, and you know that's kind of unfortunate, but we can fix all that. We'll just highlight the whole list, go to the View tab, and make sure my ruler is turned on. And now if I come up here in the ruler, I can grab this little guy here, drag it over, and then I brought my content back in and sort of made up for that extra space that I put in there with the space bar. Now, there is a special character called a zero width space. If you wanna use that and not have to adjust the spacing, I will go to a fresh slide here and I'll show you where that is and how to do it. Um, so I'm gonna to go to the insert tab and I'm gonna to go to symbol. And then up here, you wanna make sure you have the font selected that you want to use for your numbers. I'm gonna stick with bitter. And then, you know, depending on the font, there can be tons of these special symbols in there. Um, but typically down around the, uh, the dashes, um, if you start clicking, these look like empty things, but that's a figure space, uh, punctuation space, thin space, hair space, and finally a zero width space. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click insert, and I'm gonna close this. And you can see that made my one a different font. It made it bitter. I'm gonna hold shift and press the left arrow key, and now I have that zero width space selected. I'll go ahead, I'll make that bold. And what the heck, can I even change the color there? Yes, I can. I'll copy that. And I'll go ahead and just press down and paste it down the list. And that is adding an extra little spacebar character after each one of these when I paste them in. So I've got to make sure I go back and get rid of those when I'm done. But you can make your way down the list, get all those updated, and then I'll just delete those extra spaces that it threw in for some weird reason. I don't really know why it does that, but it's consistently been happening to me. But there you go, now I don't have to adjust the spacing up here because all that formatting is applied to the zero width space right there. That's two different ways to do it. They're both super easy. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any uh, needs for assistance with your presentations or any of the design collateral, that might go along with those. Anything else, we are Ghost Ranch Communications. Feel free to reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to help. Thanks.